December 28, 2014. The passenger ferry Norman Atlantic is fighting its way through a brutal winter storm. It's the holidays, and the ship is crammed to near capacity with 417 passengers. Leonidas Constantinidis has parked his truck below. Now he needs a seat. I didn't have a cabin, and there was no seating available in the lounge. The ship was suffocatingly full. It's against the rules, but in the end, Constantinidis goes down to deck four. Captain, we've got the fire alarm on deck four. Still in his truck, Leonidas discovers he's surrounded by flames. I couldn't remember where the exit was. I had to decide, go forward or back. The blaze has driven Leonidas Constantinidis all the way to the back of the ship. It's the end of the road. Then, he has a stroke of luck. There's a cable dangling from the ship down into the sea, a possible escape route from the raging fire. It was a choice between getting burnt or drowning. I grabbed the cable and went down into the sea. I chose the water instead of the fire. By 11.30 in the morning, the Norman Atlantic has been burning for six hours. Coast Guard vessels have arrived to start rescuing passengers and crew. One of them is Leonidas Constantinidis, who'd been driven by fire into the sea seven hours earlier. I wasn't wearing a life jacket or anything. I only stayed above the surface because I was hugging the cable. Miraculously, the wind from the storm blew a stray life raft right to him. The life raft, the way the wind was pushing it, it had to pass between the cable I was holding and the ship. Somehow, he made it on board. <laughs> 